Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds. We praise Allah. We seek his aid. We ask for his forgiveness and we seek his protection. <clears throat> whomever Allah guides, none misguide. And whomever he guides, and whomever he misguides, none guide. He is Allah. He has no like. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the man of praise, is his slave and messenger. Amma ba'd. Fa'a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim. Ya ayyuha al-lazina amanu attaqu allaha wa qulu qawlan sadida. Yuslih lakum a'malakum wa yaghfir lakum dhunubakum. Wa man yuti'i allaha wa rasoolahu faqad faza fawzan azima. O you who believe, fear Allah, fear Allah, have taqwa of Allah, be aware of Allah. Allah will rectify your actions and forgive your sins. Whoever follows Allah, whoever obeys Allah and his messenger has indeed been granted a great victory. These days that we are in are tremendous days. We are in turbulent times, difficult times. We are in the time of fitna. If we look at our brothers and sisters in Palestine who have been suffering severely this last month, we see nothing but unwavering faith, unwavering iman, unshaking iman, such that one of them who passed away, his hand was raised to the heavens in, in a shahada. Many of them are huffad, protectors of the Qur'an, exemplifying high levels of iman. And during these times, these tribulations, when we see these tribulations, we wonder how do we respond and how do we understand? How do we process what's going on? The Iman and the faith of our dear Palestinian brothers, as we see in Gaza, is of a high level. And how can we just achieve just one sliver of that? If Allah loves a people, He tests them. And the reward that we are granted is according to the level of hardship. And we see the level of hardship that our brothers in Palestine are going through is of a very high level. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْصٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ Allah says في كتاب عزيز بعد عوض بالله من الشيطان الرجيم We will indeed test you with something of fear and hunger and loss of wealth, souls and fruits and give glad tidings to the patient, those who, when affliction befalls them, they say, truly we are gods, and unto him we return. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. There are those upon whom come the blessings of, from their Lord and compassion, and there are those who are rightly guided. Ula'ika alayhim salawatun min rabbihim wa rahmah, wa ula'ika humul muhtadun. Imam al-Qurtubi mentions in his tafsir, قوله تعالى وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ أَيْ وَلَنَخْتَبِرَنَّكُمْ يَا أُمَّةَ مُحَمَّدٍ We will test you, O Ummah of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. واللام لجواب القسم تقديره والله لنبلوانكم. The lam in this word, وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ means wallahi. It is an oath. Surely we will test you. And ibtila is from, from Allah is لِإِظْهَارِ الْمُطِيعِ مِنَ الْعَاصِي To make manifest the obedient from the disobedient. 
This is not because Allah did not know about this. This is to show us as a proof who is obedient and who is disobedient. Allah knows what happened and what will happen in pre-eternity. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ألف لامين أحسب الناس أن يتركوا أن يقولوا آمنا وهم لا يفتنون Do the people think they will be left alone after saying we believe without being put to test? Trials and tribulations are part of the nature inherent to this world. الدنيا دار البلاء this dunya is an abode of tribulation. Going back to the ayah, With something of fear and hunger. Now we are seeing great tribulations. And many of us are, are, are shocked at the level of criminality that we're witnessing. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, بِشَيْءٍ With something. And in Balagha, in Arabic rhetoric, بِشَيْءٍ is used for tahqir. It is used to belittle something. So this is just a small amount compared to the full torment that the kuffar and the mujrimin, the criminals and the oppressors will undergo in Jahannam, in the hereafter. So for us, this is a small amount compared to what they will receive in the hereafter. The Prophet wasallam said, أُمَّتِي هَذِهِ أُمَّةٌ مَرْحُمَّةٌ لَيْسَ عَلَيْهَا عَذَابٌ فِي الْآخِرَةِ عَذَابُهَا فِي الدُّنْيَا الْفِتَنُ وَالزَّلَازِلُ وَالْقَتْلِ The Prophet wasallam said, This people of mine, Ummati, is one which is a recipient of mercy. It will have no torment in the next world, but its torment will be in this world. Trials, earthquakes, and killings. Thus, we should be reassured in the fact that our great reward, if we remain steadfast to our faith and patient through our trials and tribulations, will be Jannatul for those, insha'Allah ta'ala. Going back to the oppressors. سَيُصِيبُ الَّذِينَ أَجْرَمُوا صَغَارٌ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ وَعَذَابٌ شَدِيدٌ وَعَذَابٌ شَدِيدٌ بِمَا كَانُوا يَمْكُرُونَ Humiliation before God and severe torment will befall the evildoers from their scheming. So we have to look at things in perspective. Our iman is not connected to the world, is not connected to worldly things. If we remain in the horizontal realm, we'll be depressed and we'll be in despair. But if we look up vertically to the heavens, we will be so busy that we cannot fall in despair. After Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala announced that there will be tribulation in this world, He said, And glad tidings, glad tidings to those who are patient. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tells us that there are tribulations in this world. And he gives us the solution right after that. One more thing about ibtila is that it is a wake-up call for us that keeps us from slipping into heedlessness and the fragmentariness of this world, which can rip apart our souls. There is a saying of Imam Busiri. He said, إِلَى مَتَى أَنْتَ بِالَّذَّاتِ مَشْغُولُ وَأَنْتَ عَنْ كُلِّ مَا قَدَّمْتَ مَسْؤُولُ تَعْصِ الْإِلَاهَ وَأَنْتَ تُظْهِرُ حُبَّهُ ذَاكَ لَفِي الْمَقَالِ الشَّنِيعُ لَوْ كَانَ حُبُّكَ, لو كان حبك صَادِقًا لَأَطَعْتَهُ إِنَّ الْمُحِبَّ لِمَنْ يُحِبُّ مُطِيعُ until when, will be, we, until when will we be preoccupied with desires while we'll be asked about what we put forth in good deeds? Disobeying our Lord while outwardly manifesting love to Him. This is something ugly. If our love was true, we would have followed Him. The lover is obedient to the beloved. So this is a wake-up call. 
But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us a solution to this wake-up call. As-sabr. وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ He could have said, be patient. Isbir. But instead he mentioned the noun, as-sabirin, to provide us with the understanding if you are in this situation. And remain patient, Allah will reward you. And there's a saying, al-ajr biqadr al-mashaqqa. The reward is commensurate with the hardship. What type of sabr is this? In the English language, patience may imply passivity. Patience may imply sitting back, being still. But here it means a sabr ala ta'a wa sabr ala al-ma'siyah. Patience in obeying Allah, meaning, meaning that we're consistent in our obedience to Allah, and patience in refraining from disobeying Allah. Patience in refraining from disobeying Allah. Refraining from sinning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And those who are in the state of sabr will not be able to fall in despair. Because we will think about the perspective that we are in. We will think about it through the perspective of the vertical perspective looking towards the heavens and realizing that this is a test. The word fitna in Arabic means, one of the original meanings is to test gold. Fatan al dhahab means to test it. So in this way we are being tested and, and, and the, the obedient is being, and, and the obedient is being differentiated from the disobedient. But this level of sabr is what will give us solace and what will reassure us that this dunya is temporary and this dunya is the sijnul mu'min, is the prison of the believer or jannatul kafir and the paradise of the disbeliever. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ونساء المسلمين فاستغفروه الحمد لله الحمد لله الواحد الأحد العلي الصمد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد قال الله في كتابه العزيز ألف لام أحسب الناس أن يتركوا أن يقولوا آمنا وهم لا يفتنون وَلَقَدْ فَتَنَّ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ فَلَيَعْلَمَنَّ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ صَدَقُوا وَلَيَعْلَمَنَّ الْكَاذِبِينَ أَلِفْ لَا مِيمْ Do those who believe think that they will not be tested, that they will be left alone? Indeed, we have tested those before us, before you, so that those who are truthful will be distinguished from those who are, are lying. So how do we understand tribulation and how do we navigate it? وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ Those who are sabir, those who are patient. So as we mentioned, real patience in the Islamic tradition means to be patient in your obedience and patient in refraining from disobedience. When we are patient in obedience and patient in avoiding sinfulness, then sin, sorrow, self-absorption, self-pity, these which blind us, will not create an impatience in us that blinds us to do good and will not lead us to despair. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لا تحسن إن الله معنا This is in the story of when Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa were in the cave together. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said to Abu Bakr, لا تحسن إن الله معنا do not despair, Allah is with us. Do not despair, for the victory of Allah is near. 
Our martyrs are in paradise and their dead are in the hellfire. قَتْلَاهُمْ فِي النَّارُ وَقَتْلَانَا فِي الْجَنَّةِ That in and of itself is a reassurance to us. We should never let our iman be so weak that if we lose our job, suddenly we have doubts. That is not the right type of iman. Our belief is connected to the akhirah, to the hereafter, not connected to the ajila, which is the here and now. It is firmly, our belief is firmly rooted in the promise of paradise, not the ephemeral essence of this world and the material insatiable appetite that characterizes this world. Now, in order to have sabr ala ta'a and sabr ala al-ma'siyah, we first have to make tawbah. We have to make tawbah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَوَهَبْنَا لِدَاوُودَ سُلَيْمَانِ نِعْمَ الْعَبْدِ إِنَّهُ أَوَّابِ And we bless Dawood with Sulaiman. He was an excellent servant of Allah. Surely he was great in turning to us in repentance. So the Prophet Dawood alayhi salam was an exemplar of Tawbah. So if this is a Prophet who is always repentant to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this manner, what about us? Where do we stand? We must view calamity, ibtila, as from Allah and understand it as a chance to rectify our internal spiritual states. Sabr in obedience and from engaging in disobedience is what we need. A grand tawbah is what we need. Tawbah and nasuha. Do we want to be those who are near to Allah or those who are far from Him? Allahumma hadina fi man hadayt wa aafina fi man aafayt wa tawallana fi man tawallayt wa barik lana fi ma aatayt wa qina wa asrif anna bi rahmatika sharra ma qadayt innaka taqdi wa la yuqda alayk innahu la yadillu man walayt wa la yizzu man aadayt tabarakta rabbana wa ta'alayt laka alhamdu ala ma aatayt wa laka alshukr ala ma an'amta bihi wa awlayt nastaghfiruka allahumma wa natubu ilayk nastaghfiruka allahumma wa natubu ilayk nastaghfiruka allahumma wa natubu ilayk allahumma aghfir almu'minina wal mu'minat wal muslimina wal muslimat al ahya'i minhum wal amwat innaka ya maulana sami'un qareebun mujibu ad-da'wat allahumma ansur al-islam wal muslimin allahumma ansur al-islam wal muslimin allahumma ansur al-islam wal muslimin وأذل الشرك والمشركين اللهم يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك نستغيث أصلح لنا شأننا كله ولا تكلنا إلى أنفسنا طرفة عين اللهم اجعل القرآن ربيع قلوبنا ونور صدورنا وارزقنا تلاوته آناء الليل وأطراف النهار اللهم احفظ هذه الأمة المحمدية في جميع بلادها وفي فلسطين اللهم اصلح أحوال المستضعفين في فلسطين اللهم اصلح أحوال المستضعفين في فلسطين يا الله we ask you to alleviate the suffering especially in Palestine in Gaza يا الله we ask you to alleviate the suffering all over the world in all over the places where they are suffering, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we ask you to forgive our sins and enter us in Jannah al-Firdaus with the prophets and the pious. Bi rahmatika, Ya Arham al-Rahimeen. Allahumma hafad hadhi al-Ummah. Bi rahmatika, Ya Arham al-Rahimeen. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أرحم أمتي بأمة أبو بكر وأشدهم في دين الله عمر وأصدقهم حياء عثمان وأقضاهم علي وفاطمة سيد سيدة نساء أهل الجنة والحسن والحسين سيدا شباب أهل الجنة وحمزة أسد الله وأسد رسوله عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله العظيم يذكركم وادعوه يستجب لكم ولذكر الله تعالى أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون وأقم الصلاة